Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, I am going to show you how you can set up DNS3 in your system to perform networking lab, right? So this video will guide you to set up DNS3 in your system. Okay. So in the video description, you will get one link to download DNS3 software and to download router images. So you can see. I have this link, right? This is my drive link. I will share this link in description, so you can check the link in this description. And once you will click on the link, you will get this file. Let me open any browser, and in this browser, I'm going to paste this link. So here you can see, you will get these two files. This is software to install GNS3, and here we have some iOS L3 images for GNS3. So first of all, let me download GNS3 here. So click on download. Right, soon downloading will start. Right after that, here we have iOS image. So you will click on this file. You will get some images, router images, and you need to download any one image. So it is taking some time. Just wait. Download, and you can see we have some. Router images, so you can download any image of router. Let me download this one, C seven two double zero. So let me download this router image. Download anyway, right? So downloading is started. You can see. Okay. So this is my router image, and this is GNS three file. Let me take you to folder to show you this file. In download, you can see this is my GNS three file. And this is router image. First of all, I am going to install this software. So click, right click on the software and click on Run as Administrator. Say yes and say next. Again next, again next, and here you can, you know, tick mark GNS3 desktop. Click next. This is the destination folder name. Destination folder, location, and after that click next. Fine. Again, I need to click next. Agree and install. Finish. Agree. Install. Okay, now click again next and finish. So whatever other you know software is required to set up GNS3, it will download those software as well automatically. So just you need to uh, allow. You need to click and install other software as well. So putty is required. So let me download putty as well here. Email ID. Click next. Say no here. It's asking for would you like to get your free license of SolarWind standard toolset? Say no to this and click next and then finish. So GNS3 installation is done. Now you can see I have this logo on the desktop. So I will click on, double click on it. Now you can see this is my GNS3. What happened? Another GNS3 is running. Okay. So you you can see it asking about where you want to run this GNS3. So I want to run this GNS3 on my local computer. So click Run application on my local machine, local computer, and then click Next. Again Next, Next, and then. Finish. GNS3 version is asking for update. You can say no to this. 
and now you can see this is interface of my gns3 now i need to import router images here so cl click on edit go to preferences in preferences you can see ios router click on ios router and then click on new and here you need to select your image router image so in download file here you can see this is my router image i'm going to select this one say yes and then click next 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 and it's asking for interfaces so let me add few more interface here okay let me add some serial interface as well you can see you know four t plus and then next finish apply and then okay now here i can create project click on new blank project give the name of project let's say test and now you can see this is my workspace and here i have one router so i can drag drag and drop let me drag and draw two routers here now i can connect these two router together like this and let's let me drag and draw some pcs as well virtual pc let's say pc1 pc2 we can connect it like this like this and now you can see i'm not able to see any interfaces port id right so we can click over here right click over here to get port id now we are able to see port id now these devices are off so we need to turn on these devices so click on this button to turn on devices let me turn on the device now you can see my devices are on and now by double clicking on devices i can access it so if i will double click on it you can see i have access of this router now i can change font size and whatever things i want to configure i can configure over here right so you can see i have access of router one here i can configure anything host name router one right interface f0 slash zero no such so ip address let's see 12.1.1.1 dot dot one dot zero right so ip interface brief so this is how you can set up gns3 in your laptop right that's all for today thanks for watching now if you are able to install gns3 in your uh, system please hit on like button thanks for watching bye bye that's all for today